Hey guys, good afternoon. Um, so, hey, it's Thursday and there was a lot going on last night. Um, you know, lots of different news going on with the, uh, the three moms and um, just wanted to do a really quick three moms update. So um, I'm going to start off with Jasmine because I am like the least clear about kind of what was going on. So after the um, momcation weekend, they came back, um, you know, so that would be last weekend. They were, you know, back from the previous weekend. So we're going into almost two weeks now since momcation. And... Um, you know, it was really kind of quiet. We didn't hear a whole lot about the meet and greet, but, you know, I think what I personally came up with, and I'd said this earlier in the week, was that probably nobody showed up. If anyone showed up, and not to offend anyone, because y'all, every one person is important. If one person showed up to show some love to these ladies, that's, you know, that's all that they can really ask for. I mean, every one fan, supporter, family member, you know, someone who is there, who is encouraging and who is there for uh, that content creator, um, whomever came out to show love. I mean, that's great. That being said, I think that they thought that they were going to have a much bigger crowd. And I don't think that that was the case. So, you know, these two ladies, um, specifically Jasmine and Chrissy, I don't really know how Ming operates, but what I can say is this. I know how Chrissy and Jasmine seem to move, and if there were enough people there, they would have been gloating. They would have been thrilled. They would have been vlogging it, but Jasmine said something about they wanted to be in the moment, and I was just like, did someone write that for her? Not that she couldn't come up with that, but more so like that doesn't really sound like anything Jasmine ever says. She doesn't ever talk about trying to be in the moment ever. So I don't want to pick on her or her family, but she doesn't talk about being in the moment ever. So I kind of felt like that was a that was a weird answer coming from Jasmine. But if that was the case, that was very nice. But still, you are telling us about a meet and greet and you didn't even take pictures. And if you did, you're not sharing them. So it's kind of weird, but whatever. I don't care. I wasn't there. And hey, they had a great time. Good for them. Um, so more of the same from um, Chrissy. You know, they basically all um, put their little vlogs out showing up everything was leading up to the meet and greet and then nothing happened meet and greet was just kind of like oh it was nice that was it um that being said um I really can't give you any update on Mercea and again I think I mentioned I'm not really trying to include her in the three moms update because she's not one of the original three moms so um Olivia of course um uh, we are finding out that Gerard may have had a baby which, um, and that's a baby not with Olivia. So, um, you know, I'm not sure how that development rolled out. I know that Olivia did mention at one time that she had side chicks and all kinds of stuff calling her at one point or another. And um, that was very worrisome and troublesome to her uh, before they got married. So apparently if this is still the same person, this is someone who she's known about. This is someone who she's gone back and forth with. This is someone who has made herself known and, um, could potentially have already had a baby with Gerard. So we're just not sure, um, of what's happened, who's who's, what's what, but apparently there's something going on. Olivia is not happy, and it seems as if Gerard may have left the home. Um, she switched her name back to Li to Liv's life, and, you know, she's once again serving up single mom realness, which is, okay, that's cool. So, um, so fast forward, um, I was out. Uh, picking up my daughter from school and I'd stopped to get some gas and Jasmine went live so I was listening of course and I heard her talking about someone mentioning that she had been evicted from her home 
and that, you know, when she decided to leave, that she was really, really upset, but she knew she didn't share the whole story with us, but definitely would and, you know, feels that now is the time that she would share it. But I guess she was out with her kids. I'm not really sure where she was, what she was doing. Um, but she talked about sharing, you know, what was going on and the reason around why she decided to leave her last place. So, um, you know, I didn't really think much of it because, you know, we would heard about this before. But again, I, I really didn't think anything of it. And next thing I know, last night, I'm getting an alert that Chrissy's been evicted from her home. And I'm just like, what? And it was confusing because I had just heard Jasmine talking about something about the same thing. So I was just kind of like, this is weird. Um but hey, you know, I I guess, I mean, I don't really understand what's going on. Um, because, you know, these are women who talk about being bosses and, you know, multiple, multiple streams of income and lots and lots going on that's super positive and just being a boss and having their arms legs, feet, toes, everything wrapped around everything that they're doing. And I was really just kind of like, what? You know, that's that seems really strange because that's not like the story they've been telling us. Um, not to mention, they just came back from momcation. So what the heck happened? Anyway, apparently there's been some information gathering, um, maybe some disclosures. I'm not really sure how this all went down, guys. I mean, there seems to be a couple different chains of event, but apparently someone knew something. Someone dropped a tip to another reactor that we all know and love, um, who basically did the research, got the information, and then put the story out regarding, um, Basically, that there had been filings, that there was even possibly court proceedings before momcation, and that um, this was already a progress when she went to um, Texas for the trip, and that she would have known all about this. So I don't know, guys, this is all really strange. And, you know, I, I don't, you know, I don't know what's going on with these ladies. I mean, they are, you know, like I said, I've said this before, and I don't want to sound like I'm being particularly harsh, but it just really kind of is so worrisome when you see people who are doing the most and getting the least. I mean, these ladies are putting out a lot of effort and get very, very little return on what is going on in their lives. And I cannot imagine how frustrating that should be. And, um, you know, very disappointing. So, you know, I hate that for them. Um, you know, once again, I wish them so much better um, but I personally, like I've said this before, I can't want it more for them than they want for themselves. Um, leveling up is a choice and it's something that we all have to do for ourselves and oftentimes by ourselves. Um, Chrissy, from what I understand, this is, um, this has been somewhat of a common occurrence and something that may or may not come as a surprise to a lot of people what is going on and um, it's really unfortunate for her children that they're having to go through this again you know having to pack up and move and be displaced from what looked like a very nice home that she um, was able to secure and I could only imagine be very disappointing. I could also just imagine how much stuff they have. I mean, I know that living in a place for a long time 
when we moved, we accumulated a lot of stuff. I can only imagine that with having 11 people in a house, that it wouldn't take long to feel like you probably have a ton, a ton of stuff. And with small children and no support of a spouse, it's, you know, it's unfortunate, but I hope that if this is the case, that, you know, at a certain point you get tired of being tired, and if Chrissy has gotten to the point today where she's tired of being tired, then maybe, um, she'll decide to make a change and make a change towards being more diligent about her financial responsibilities and exercising some fiscal responsibility and maybe even keeping in mind of a budget and or and or some sort of tracking system to make sure that bills are being paid, bills are being paid on time. When you have a windfall, you have a particularly good month, you've made some, you know, more money than you anticipated for the month, that you're still, you know, yes, you do a splurge, yes, you have some fun, but also that you're managing and maintaining your household. Because, you know, guys, at this point, when you are a mom, when you have children who are relying on you, um, I mean, we just have to do better, guys, you know, and... It's it's really unfortunate, and I feel I do feel bad for her today. Yesterday, I can't really say that I felt particularly bad. Um, I feel bad in the sense that moving is hard, and it's not easy. It's not fun work, and for these children, I can only imagine the ones that are old enough could potentially be very disappointed, um, even though, on a personal note, When we moved, you know, I think, you know, it was a win-win situation. But, you know, of course you miss your old neighborhood. Maybe you miss, um, you know, certain aspects of what was now like, quote unquote, your old life when you lived in a different place and maybe went to different stores and got to see different people on more of a regular basis. But for the kids, it's really hard for them to kind of soak all that in. So, you know, this is not a fun Three Moms update. This is really kind of, to me, somewhat of like a sad and disappointing Three Moms update because I I feel kind of bad for these ladies today. Um, but I hope, my hope and wish for these three um, is, y'all, we can't want it more for you than you want for yourselves and I guess what always baffles me is that three people who are doing so well at YouTube and I'm and you know some may want to debate that maybe this is not like oh they could be doing so much better and yes but you know what we can't all gauge by a certain measuring stick but to me I see people who are you know thriving in their own business they are making money to be self-sufficient they are not clocking in at jobs every day they are self-employed they are moving forward they are advancing in a particular you know career something that that can be a career and it's very disappointing when you see people who are not managing their finances or their life Because what happens, guys, and we all know this, is that when you don't take control of your life, life takes control of you. So I'm just going to leave you with that. Hopefully, um, you know, that got you somewhat up to date. There's tons of videos out there today. So if you want to get caught up more detailed, I know that you can do that. Um, But, you know, this was more of like a high level overview because you know what? Anyone who is listening to this today, once again, if you don't take control over a situation, a situation will take control over you. So, guys, have a great afternoon. Um, We will be watching. 
And um, again, if you need to reach out to me, go ahead and use um, my information in the description box or up in that handy corner to your right. Click on that and you will either get to my Instagram or my email account. And I would love to hear from you if you have anything to share with me. Take care. Thank you again for coming to Love Lies and Lace Fronts. Do not forget to like. Get the conversation popping down in the comments and subscribe. And last, hit your notifications so that you will know the minute I drop another video. Take care, guys. See you soon. Bye. Hey, guys. Good afternoon. Um, so, hey, it's Thursday and there was a lot going on last night. Um you know, lots of different news going on with the uh, the three moms, and um, just wanted to do a really quick three moms update. So um, I'm gonna start off with Jasmine because I.